All right, guys, welcome back to yet another Lost Foam Casting video. And today I'm going to be attempting to cast this, this busty lady right here. Um, you can see here, kind of slightly, I used the layer technique to make this statue. You can see the layers here. Um, I'll leave a link in one of these corners and in the description below on another video explaining how you can turn a 3D model into layers like this so you can cut each layer out individually and then glue them together like I did here. Um, once I glued it all together, it's all one piece. Then I coated it with plaster, not just once, but probably four or five times uh, because today I'm gonna to be working with the heavy metal right here. These are brass ingots, uh, pretty shiny. And if I don't have enough for this, I'm going to add some more to it, which I mean, I think I think I have enough brass right here. Um, so that's a heavy metal. Normally when I do aluminum, it doesn't, it's light, so it's a lighter metal. So when you pour the liquid aluminum into here, this is head pressure. So the more metal you have up here, it's creating head. It's head pressure facing, uh, pushing downward on into the cast. So because I'm using heavy metal, it's going to be a lot more heavier, a lot more head pressure face pushing downward. So it could potentially come out the sides uh, into the sand. And it's ha it has happened to me before. Um, I just actually did it in a copper melt recently. You'll see that, I think, after this video, um, probably. We'll see. Um, but you'll see because with only one layer of plaster, it's just not enough um, to retain the, the heavy metal into the, um, the, um, the foam here, into the, um, the mold. So I tried it. We're going to see how it works. I put five, four or five layers on this. We'll see if it holds the metal in place as well as the sand. We will see shortly. So let's go outside. Let's light up the furnace and melt down some brass. Let's go.
All right, guys, if you look closely here, you can see, let's see if I could focus. You can see where the metal bled out. See all the seams? The metal bled out of the plaster. Hopefully. Hopefully I can uh, just scrape it off. I'm not sure what it's gonna look like when it's all done, but I'm gonna let this cool down and then I'll try to clean it up, see what we have. All right guys, here we are. It took me quite a while to get rid of all the brass that bled through on the corners of uh, you know where the foam was. Uh, it wasn't too bad. You just use a Dremel tool with a little grinding disc. I thought I could chip it away you know, with a screwdriver, but that didn't really work too great. Um, like I said, the Dremel is the way to go to get rid of anything like that. But I think it looks great, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if you want to see something similar to this or if you want to see me do another one of these. Let me know in the comments, guys. Once again... Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.